Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Sexton 1. It's the Tier 3 British SPG. Premium SPG, I should say. Because uh, it's one of only two SPGs that are premium in the game. And this one is commanded by Talon 1958. And he's on the Westbourne of Paris. Now, something rather unusual happens in this game. He doesn't play it like an RT. He plays it like a tank destroyer. He goes TD. Now this is something I've done in the past in the TD-18 or the uh, T-18 HMC rather I should say. Um, TD-18. And I did it in Paris because actually some unfortunate series of events that took place where I was assaulted by several light tanks and went to TD mode and actually did rather well. It was only my second game in the T-18. HMC, so it was rather a funny one at that. But in this battle, we're seeing Talon 1958. He's taking him over to the usual position where you'd normally find medium tanks. But he's going to get into the corner and try and attack the enemy from over here. Okay. Now, he's gone into standard aim mode for RT. Attacking an M2 medium, lined up, and gets a nice hit. 89 hit points from that shot. He's got a 25 pounder gun, which means obviously he can do a lot of damage, and he reloads very quickly. Oh, he hit a wall there, I think. That's a premature shot. He's got loads of ammunition, absolutely tons of it. And he's firing HE at the moment, which is standard ammo. 10 rounds of premium, 51 rounds of arm piercing. Round out. Oh, kill shot. M2 medium is no more. Oh, he can't hit those targets because they're just too far away. And he's got the buildings in the way, I'm afraid. So the shell would hit the building before it hits the target. That's the problem with the Paris map. They've actually designed it in such a way that it's... There are only a few places where you can actually shoot over buildings. And that Panzer 4D gets in the way, but that doesn't matter. Now Talon's moving forward to find a new victim. It's an M1542 up ahead. That's a tier 3 Italian medium. It's a little way off at the moment though. Now it can be very tempting to go to TD mode in an RT. In fact, many players who haven't played RT before and don't know how to go into look down or to aim properly tend to go into TD mode because they play it like they would any old tank and he's been hit by the M15 and he's received another hit and he's not going to survive if he, if he uh, continues to do this. Oh, the m 15 has gone down. So he lost nearly two-thirds of his hit points in that battle. In fact, he did lose two-thirds of his hit points. He's down to 32% of his health left. But he's trying to line up for a shot on the enemy. And he, from here, he can shoot the Cruiser 4 off in the field. Because the shell will be going up over the top of the buildings. But no, he's decided he's going to go TD mode again. As I was saying, it's a tremendous temptation to actually play the SPG as a TD, but you've basically got no armor whatsoever. A T-18 HMC does have armor, but, uh, well, very little. And it has a fairly meaty gun, and in fact was a TD in previous versions of the game. In fact, it was a rather OP TD in various, uh, in previous versions. And that's why they converted it into an RT. Uh, if you want to check out uh, the T18 HMC as a rather OPTD, look for the video by Jingles, where he actually shows what you can do on the old version of Province in the uh, TD18. And he's dialing in on a T18 HMC there. <laughs> oh, now. Just talking about that very arty, and here he is firing at it. 
buddies. Oh, no, that M37's been killed. There's the T-18. Now, it may be able to stand up to machine gun shells, but it probably won't stand up to a 25 pounder round. And that round hit the M37 wreck. But he's aiming just to one side. Marked his spot. But no, he's decided he's going to go for that Electo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. an A20 jumped over the top there. Gets wiped out by an Electo. And he's reloading because he missed the opportunity too. But there's the T-18 and he's just been killed. There's only two enemies remaining. The Electo has gone <laughs> around the buildings. Looks like he's coming up this side. So get ready, you can pot him as he comes back. Well, Talon's going into the cap area at the back. Hiding behind the trees and now he's dialing in on the Electo. Who's come around the corner to try and get a reset. There's two in the cap and so he'll need to make it quick. And he missed with that first shot, landed just in front of the Electo. But he shouldn't miss with the next one. He's fully dialed in, just waiting for the reload to complete. And he kills the Electo. And I think that means he will get a Starks medal. Because he did suffer two hits. He has killed two enemy. And he did survive to win the battle. Uh, or at least survive the battle. And yes, he did get it. He got a third class tanker and a Starks medal for that battle in the uh, Sexton 1. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, end of battle stats. Well, surprisingly, he actually came third on damage, even though he fired very few shots. He got 308 hit points of damage, and the highest scorer was the Panzer B2. He got 930 and two kills, and Talon managed to get 308 and two kills. When it came to base XP, he was fifth on the table with 311. Again, the Panzer 2J actually managed to get 667. The Panzer B2, 652, not far behind. So, let's have a look at detail report. Well, he only fired nine rounds. He got three direct hits, three penetrations, no splash, because, of course, the 25-pounder gun doesn't really have any splash. But he did damage of 308 hit points. He suffered two hits, both from the M15, uh, stroke 42, and they were both penetrations. The shells went through because the armor is paper on that Sexton 1. Um, he damaged two enemy vehicles. He killed two enemy vehicles. And he managed to get 27 capture points whilst he was in the cab. On a premium account, he earned 16,857 credits, and after re repair and ammunition resupply, he still had 15,337 credits. He earned 466 XP, plus he gets 280 XP because this is a premium vehicle, and so he took away 746 XP altogether. So, uh, turning your Sexton 1 into a TD does work, uh, but it's very risky because unless you've got the armor to survive, uh, you won't you won't uh, finish the battle because if the enemy does have uh, any uh, anything which can fire fast and fire a lot of rounds such as the Panzer 1C or anything that has a machine gun, they're going to just pepper your tank with uh, holes. Uh, the only exception, of course, is as I said, the T18 HMC, which does have reasonable armor, and if you fire it in a machine gun at that tank, your shells will just bounce off. So you need something with a bit more power to actually get through the armor of a T18 HMC, and an artillery RT round can actually do the trick. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And happy birthday to uh, Talon1958 because I know it's his birthday today. Uh, so if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like, do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully your replay will be the next one that I feature.